Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we are going to see how we can able to prepare normalized difference vegetation index using Landsat 8 data in ArcGIS Pro. So I have already downloaded the Landsat data and created a band composite. If you want to know how to create a band composite, for that just visit our channel and here you will get the video how to create a band composite. So after creating a band composite, we can able to create an NDVI. So let me understand first what is NDVI actually. Normalized difference vegetation index that is NDVI quantifies the vegetation by measuring the difference between near infrared which is vegetation strongly reflects and red light which is vegetation absorbed. So the definition itself indicating the NDVI. So NDVI we can able to calculate using NIR minus red divided by NIR plus red. So what is NIR? So this is a near infrared band. If you see the Landsat 8 data set in the NIR is band number 5 and red is band number 4. So we require these two bands. Using these two bands, we can able to create an NGVI map. I have downloaded this data set, Landsat data set from UHGS Earth Explorer. After that, I have added this seven bands from one to seven. And then after adding this one to seven band, just select this one to seven band, okay? When you will select all this one to seven band using the shift key, then you can go to imagery. And in the imagery, there is option process. In the process, there is a composite option is there. So once you'll click on the composite, you will see this kind of band composite here. Okay. So you just need to right click, go to symbology. And from here, we can able to change the band. Like suppose I want to show 543. Okay. That is a color infrared band. It is a 543. So you can able to see the FCC image here. Okay. But we are interested to create an NDVI. So for that, there is a tool that is a raster function. Okay. In the imagery, if you go to imagery, there is a raster function. In the raster function, there is an NDVI. Okay. So we need to use this NDVI. So if you click on the NDVI, you will see the information is given there. That is a create a single band data set that represents the vegetation health based on the difference between the red and near infrared band. So as we have seen here in the Landsat 8 data set, the band 5 is near infrared and band 4 is a red. So this two band we require. So you just need to remember there is a NR is band number means in the Landsat band number 5 is NR and band number 4 is red. So we'll use this formula here. So for that, we'll go to parameters and from here we need to select a composite. Okay. So both composite are same. We can take any composite and here is the band. So visible band, we need to select a band number four and near infrared that is a band number five. Okay. And just click on the scientific outputs. When you will click on the scientific outputs, then just click on the create new layer and our NDVI will generate here. So if you right click, go to symbology. From here, we can able to change the color. What are the color you want? You can able to select from here. Okay. So now you can able to see the range here. Okay. NDVI range you can able to see here. So this is from minus one to plus one in between you will see. And in that, if you'll see this negative value indicating nearly water body area here. So we can classify this image. Okay. So if you'll click here and then classify option is there. Okay. So just click yes. So we can classify it accordingly class we want like I want four classes. So I can select four classes and I can able to select the color ramp from here. Okay. So now you can able to see this color. Okay the lower color indicating that the water body area okay where you will see the highest value indicating the healthy vegetation okay this portion so like if you want to change the classes you can able to change classes from here like minus one to zero it is showing the date plant or object so zero to zero point three three is the unhealthy plant then if you'll see the above zero point 3, 3, there is a moderate to high vegetation is there. So if you'll see the value from 
0 0.25 to this value indicating that this portion is having a highest healthy vegetation. So if we'll uncheck this, even though if I will unselect this, okay. So now here, if I'll add the imagery, if we'll go to maps from base map, we can able to add imagery. And if I'll select this, now you can able to see this portion. Okay. So this portion is showing the highest healthy vegetation. See. So this image might be very because what are the month image we are using and what are the background images there. So there might be little bit differences there because they are not both the, because both are not from the same date. Okay, but you can able to get the idea how we can able to prepare the NGBI map and how we can able to classify this. So it is very easy to prepare and normalize difference vegetation index. And this uh, negative value here up to showing a water body area. Okay. There are a number of applications is there like it can be used for agriculture, crop health, forestry, then environmental monitoring, climate change study, fire predictions. So there are a number of applications are there for the NDVA and you can and you can able to use this for your analysis. So if you are having any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. If you like this video, you can share with your friends. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.